Olivia Rodrigo is killing it out there, but apparently not all of her masterpieces are originally from her. Wait, but from where? Well, let's find out. Hi guys, and welcome back to Screen Trends. For this video, we're going to list all the artists Olivia Rodrigo has been accused of copying from. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Now, let's hop right into this one. Olivia recently experienced controversy for her Diva Island since she's been accused of plagiarizing a lot of other people's work. From her songs to her music videos, Rodrigo's Diva album Sour was published in May and her breakthrough song Driver's License made her a worldwide pop phenomenon overnight. Even though some people pointed out that the work might not be original, she immediately broke several records and the streaming figures skyrocketed. So here's everything Rodrigo has been accused of copying so far. Taylor Swift. Many fans pointed out that the first obvious imitation incident was when listening to Sour. Rodrigo plagiarizes B Piano from Taylor Swift's New Year's Day of her 2017 album Reputation. She does, however, give credit to Taylor Swift and Jack Anotoff on the tune, and many assume she requested Taylor Swift whether she may sample it. Given how big of a fan Rodrigo is of the Willow singer, she would of course draw inspiration from her idol. Rodrigo drew influence from Swift on several occasions during the record. She told Rolling Stone that the bridge of Swift's cruel summer inspired her while she was composing the bridge for her single Deja Vu, which fans noticed as well. Jennifer's body in the Princess Diaries. Jennifer's Body, a late 2000s Megan Fox film, comes to mind. Olivia Rodrigo has allegedly copied that as well. Fans linked it to the film when the young pop singer slipped fire to her bedroom after seeming insane singing to her ex in her video Good For You. There's also a scene in the film where Fox emerges from the water and Rodrigo does the same at the conclusion of her video. But... It isn't the only film reference that enthusiasts have recognized. If you recognize the cheerleader costume she wore in the video, it was the same as Lana Thompson's in Princess Diaries. At least, that's how it seems. And several others have called it out. She's a Gen Zer. Therefore, she'll be influenced by the things she grew up with. Rina Sawayama. Rodrigo just released a music video for her latest track, Brutal, and fans are once again seeing parallels. Twitter users pointed out that she looks a lot like Rina Sayamana, a Japanese-British singer. Fans have picked out similarities between the music video and Sayamama's XS video, such as the anchor lady and the comparable aesthetics. The tweet received over 2.2 thousand likes, indicating that fans agree. Both have remained silent about the event. Paramore. Olivia Rodrigo has established herself as a pop punk singer, and fans can't help but compare her to Harley Williams of Paramore, who was a pop punk queen in the 2000s. Listeners couldn't help but connect Good For You to Paramore's misery business. When they first heard it, she added Williams and ex guitarist Josh Farrow as co-writers of the song when more outrage about her plagiarism surfaced. Rodrigo has named Williams as one of her numerous songwriter heroes. Her representatives declined to comment, but a source informed Variety that the credit is an interpolation which is when a part of a previously recorded song is re-recorded and reincorporated into a new song. The two parties were also in contact, according to the source, before creating Good For You. Country Love Country Love is a grudge rock singer. Noted the similarities between the cover art for her band, Hole's second album, Live Through This, and the advertising outwork for Rodrigo's concert video, Sour Prom, on social media. Both photos show the ladies clutching a bunch of flowers while dressed up in a prom gown with a tiara in black mascara running down their faces. Love was irritated that she was not given credit and commented on Rodrigo's Instagram post that it was rude. 
She went on to say that she wasn't upset because it occurs all the time, but that manners is manners when giving credit to the original. Love placed responsibility on her record company and requested an apology message. Britney Spears. She's not only imitated Samea in Brutal, but she also wore the same clothing as Britney Spears at the 2003 American Music Awards. According to admirers, graphic baby t-shirts, plaid miniskirts, newsboys, hats, and low-rise jeans are featured throughout the film. However, one outfit in particular is nearly identical. Rodrigo is shown practicing dance with professional ballerinas in the background, and she's dressed in the same Roberto Calibro gown that Britney Spears wore. Billie Eilish Rodrigo's concluding track, Hope You're Okay, has been compared to Billie Eilish's Come Out and Play by fans. Similarities have also been pointed out for One Step Forward, Three Steps Back, and Eilish's Six Feet Under. However, there was no bad blood between Eilish and Rodrigo, who said that Eilish contacted her after the success after of the Diva track. Both artists are 18 years old and are currently killing it. Fans hope they work in the future, despite what appears to be a copycat tune. And that's what we have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any of our content. We're signing off now, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.